TikTok has had hundreds of school hacks that went viral in 2021. Some can help you pass a class with ease and others might actually get you suspended. Luckily for you, I came back from my YouTube hiatus and I'm gonna test the top five that went viral on TikTok. You might find some Google form answers, answers to your textbooks, and maybe even get some free textbooks. So let's get straight into testing. All right, let's give this first one a try. Bro, I just spent $200 on these textbooks I need for school. I have a feeling it's gonna be free textbooks. And I might've done this already in my channel before, showing you how to get free textbooks, but because I just think textbooks are a scam, we're gonna do another one. See if it's the same one. Bro, I've just spent $200 on these textbooks that I need for school. It's too much money. You do know that if you go onto Google- Does it baby Alexander? What? Okay. Money. You do know that if you go onto Google and search the name of your textbook along with file type colon PDF, a lot of the time you can just find your textbook for free as a PDF online. Oh dear, I wish I knew this sooner. How did you know this? I just follow Noah. He teaches me. Okay, no, 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 no promotion on my channel. Uh, so yeah, I think I've done this before, maybe with LibGen or Z Library, but I don't know if I've showed off this Google one. I'm pretty sure it works, so we'll give it a try. All right, guys. So I went and checked out my last video, and it turns out, in fact, I do show you how to download textbooks for free. Not using this method though, using the libgen method, which is pretty easy. But let's give this one a try from TikTok. I found this chemistry, the central science master in chemistry, 14th edition, $21. Honestly, $21 isn't as bad as most textbooks I bought in the past. But um, what we're gonna do is just highlight, we'll just highlight the entire title, search Google for it. And at the end, we're gonna do file type colon PDF and hit enter. And we have some websites. This is what I was worried about. I don't know if we're actually gonna get the entire book, but we'll try. Okay, this, wait. Oh, uh, see, this is the 12th edition, which I mean, how, how, how much can it each edition change from, you know? It's probably the same exact book, but they're gonna make you buy a new one every year. This one's probably would suffice, but if you actually need the real book, then you'd have to go through all these links. That's not it. See, this is, I'm gonna give this one like a medium pass fail. I think if you search hard enough, you could probably find the exact book, but what I recommend is just go to LibGen or Z Library, like in my last video and follow those steps and you'll be able to find it much easier. These are just, you're gonna be downloading from some sketchy websites and you don't wanna do that. So, half pass. All right, number two, let's see what we got here. How to get all answers on Google Forms. One of my favorites. The last one we tried of this did not work. I don't care how many comments were below saying it did work. I don't believe it. I think Google is on top of their game, but let's see if this one works. I have a feeling it's something different. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? So dramatic. Oh my God, it must have worked, right? Let's give it a try. All right, so I have this Google form here. It's our test quiz. You might've seen it in my previous video. We're just gonna use the same one because I don't feel like making another one. Um, here's the answers or the questions. Pretty easy answers, but what the video says, instead of doing the inspect this time, we're gonna go up top, highlight view form. And instead we're gonna type view analytics. And if I hit enter and it gives us the answers, then I'll be very impressed that Google missed this one. Give it a try. Yes, leave site. What do you know? It doesn't work again. But I, th I think, I think I know what they did to see the answers. And I guess in a way it does kind of work, but I'll show you why I think it works. Give me one second. All right, so I am back. I am still on the form, but I am on the account that the form was created on. So my setup spawn account. And now I think if we go up here and type in view analytics and hit enter, the, we have the answers, but the only reason is because I created I created the form. Like, of course I have the answers. So if you're sending this to anyone that didn't create the form or doesn't have permission, obviously they're not gonna be able to view the answers. So the guy's trying to scam us, all right? Don't listen, go study, go pass your quiz. You're not gonna be able to hack Google Forms. On to the next one. All right, number three. Am I the only one who didn't know about this online school hack? Probably not. You probably just stole this video from someone else and you made the same exact video, but let's find out uh, what it is. Go to Google Docs, hit tools, voice typing. No more speed typing. Wait, okay, I, I missed, I was too busy dancing. Wait, let me watch the end again. Oh, 
Okay, so I got it now. It's just using the voice typing feature in Google Docs to let you type out your lectures. And uh, I think I've already done this in my last video. I know I'm referencing my last video a lot, so just go watch it if you haven't already. And it does work, but I had to hold my microphone up to the speaker, but I have an improvement that we can do without having to hold your microphone up to the speaker. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'm gonna let you do a little more of the research on it, but just keep watching. All right, so I have my Google Doc here. It's completely blank. I went to uh, tools, um, voice typing. Oh, gotta go back to it. Tools, voice typing. And then I have just a lecture on, what is this? Introduction of power and politics in today's world. Sounds completely boring, something I don't wanna listen to. So we'll let him type for us. And if you wanna do the better way, instead of holding your mic up to the speaker, what you have to do is download a voice meter. You can just download it, just type in voice meter in Google, go download it. And then just type in voice meter play music through mic and there's tons of tutorials out there on how to do it. I already have mine set up. So if I hit, if I start the lecture and then click this. Because it was a far off war that didn't have a great impact on the stability of people's lives. Um, and that is very different from what so you can see it uh, works actually pretty well. I don't think it even missed any of the words there. So if you want to try this out, go to your own research. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on how to set all this up if you really want to. But yeah, this one passes again in a new way. All right, number four, 10 year old me writing a 700 word essay. Yeah, oh, I hated these. I hated these when I was a kid. What do we got? Only at 688. We need a few more words. Ah. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is a hack, but I mean, I'll give it a try, I guess. Why not? All right, so I have my essay here on toilet paper orientation. Um, honestly, it could go over or under. It doesn't matter to me, but uh, some people are pretty anal about it. So if we search for our word count, what do we got? 687 we're at what 13 words away from 700 and we're already done with the paper we don't know what to do so down here it says we just add a bunch of random words what are we at now word count 700 there we go on the dot so now we just highlight this go to color make it white and voila well now see you have to actually make it actual words or they're going to show up as misspelled words so first of all make sure they're actual words and i guess it kind of works but any teacher i think would just come in here if i was a teacher i don't i don't know how teachers do it now but if i was a teacher i would just highlight everything and then go up to here and just make it black just to see if people are hacking like this and then see it just shows up again so does it really work and i'm sure there's websites out here that check for this i don't know i haven't been in school in like 30 years but if it comes down to it and you're desperate I guess you can try this or just go back and, you know, rearrange some words, add some words in. Who cares? So sure, I guess it works. I wouldn't try it, though. All right. Number four. What do we got? Powerful websites. You should know part 110. This guy is very good looking, by the way. That looks familiar. I don't know where I've seen him from, but what does he have to say? Powerful websites. You should know part 110. Did you know if you go to this website? Lit solution. Search for one of your school textbooks in the search bar. Let's go with this one. And you can pick a chapter that you're on and a problem from that chapter you need to solve. And it'll give you the step-by-step -step solution to solve that problem. Dang. If only I had this when I was in school. Okay, you might've caught me. That's that's my twin brother. I mean, you can tell it, it works already. I wouldn't lie to, or my twin brother wouldn't lie to you guys, but we can try it out and I'll show you a live example. All right, so I downloaded this textbook from Z Library. So you can tell Z Library works. It's called Calculus with Applications. And we're gonna go to a random chapter and problem. I think I already have one picked out. Let's do 1.2 exercises, chapter one. And let's do a number two, find F of four of this. So if we go to Lit Solutions, I already have it brought up. We type in our textbook name, Calculus with Applications. I think it was the 2017 version. Let's on that and double check we're on chapter 1.2 question 2 f of 4 chapter 1.2 question 2 and we hit generate solution link and when it's done we click on it and look how easy that was chapter 1.2 problem 2e find f of 4 for this and it gives us well, it's only two steps long but I mean, it gives you step by step and for everyone that's saying this is cheating 
Sometimes the best way to learn is seeing how someone does it first and then you can follow along afterwards. So of course, I mean, this one works and it's a promotion for my TikTok. So if you haven't already, go follow my TikTok and Instagram. And you'll find more stuff like this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you comment below if you have any school hacks that you want people to know about. And if you feel like showing some support to me, I have two links below, one to buy me some coffee. And if you want to become a patron, here's a shout out to some of my patrons right here. Thank you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on all the other social medias like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and everything else. Just find me at Setup Spawn or Maddie McTech. And other than that, we out.